Hi, this is Suzanne from SL Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to assemble my Butterfly Faber bag. You'll find the templates for this bag in my Etsy shop and I'll put a link for that in the description below. So let's get started. Okay, so once you have everything cut out, you need to fold and burnish all of the score lines on the two main pieces. Then you need to take the panel pieces, I've cut mine out of decorative paper, and glue this larger one to the front. Just leaving an even border all the way around. Then glue this smaller one to the side. Then repeat this with the other main piece. So you have the front, the back and the two side pieces. Next you need to glue these three tabs here and then carefully line them up against this side making sure you follow the edge because it's going to curve inward slightly towards the top. Then do the same with the other piece. So you should now have two pieces that look like this. So now we need to glue the two bases together. So first of all, work out which one you want as the front. So this is my front piece, so I'm just going to put glue on the inside of the base. Then put the other piece in like this, making sure that it's all lined up along those edges and then press it down from the inside. Then you need to glue the other two sides. So just doing it exactly the same way. Just following that curve. Okay, so now it should look something like this. So you can see that this is the back here, just where the join is. Next you need to work on the handles. So take one of the panels and apply glue all the way along. Then place it onto the handle, again leaving an, an even border all the way around. So press it down, but before you reach the other end, just start to curl it slightly with a bone folder or round pencil. Then that panel should line up with the other end. Then just bend the two ends forward slightly. So this is gonna to help to attach it to the bag. And do the same with the other handle. Now just apply some glue to the end of one of the handles and only go up as far as this corner here. Or you could use double sided tape if you want to make it a bit stronger. Then position it onto the bag like this. Press it down firmly. Then do the same with the other end. Just try to line it up with the other side so that it's symmetrical. Then repeat this with the other handle. Again, just making sure that it lines up with the other one. Okay, so once the handles are on, you could actually leave the bag like this if you wanted to. But I'm going to add the butterfly and the bow to this one. So the butterfly comes as two pieces. 
And I'm only going to glue it down the centre, so down the body of the butterfly, and attach it to the back piece like this. Then very carefully bring the front wings forward a bit. This can now be glued to the front of the bag. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just on the antennae, just because they're a little bit delicate and I don't want them to fall off or break. I've cut the front of my butterfly out of silver mirror card, which gives it a nice shine and I think it helps to stand out more against the decorative paper. So the last thing to make is the bow and to start with you need to curl this piece at both ends. Then apply just a tiny dot of glue to the centre and stick both of those ends down. Then you need to take this small rectangular piece. I'm just going to curve this one a little bit again just to make it easier to wrap around the bow. Then apply some glue to it. Then starting from the back you want to wrap it around loosely. and then hold that other end until it dries. So now it should look like this. And just apply a little bit of glue to the to the narrow end of the two end pieces. Place your bow on top. So that's how it should look from the back. Then just decide where you want to put your bow. So I'm just going to glue mine just onto this handle here. And there it is, it's finished. So here's another one that I made, very similar. I've just used pink papers on this one. And as you can see, there's plenty of room inside there for a gift card. And you can fill it up with some chocolates or other treats as well. And there they are, little butterfly favour bags.